Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are starting a new series on electrokinetic modeling using ComSol Multiphysics. Due to huge demand in this particular research topic, we are creating this playlist. This particular playlist will include fundamental simulations for the novice researchers and it will also include different applications starting from battery, EDLC, supercapacitors and many others. So we start with the fundamental video. So today we will talk about which are the available physics which can be utilized to create your electrokinetic modeling. So if we talk about electrokinetic module, there are three particular physics which are generally used and they are one is your chemical species transport and under chemical species transport there are multiple physics and uh, we generally talk more about this TDS that is transport of diluted species. Now why this TDS is coming in your electrokinetic simulation? The idea is in electrokinetics we deal with ions. There are basically preferential adsorption or desorption of ions that is co-ions and counter ions and this particular physics that is transport of diluted species takes care of the distribution or mobility of these cations and anions and that is why this particular physics is important. Mathematically it basically solves for diffusion, convection and reaction equation. A particular species, a particular problem could be reactive and if it is a reactive then we have to solve the entire uh, physics which covers your diffusion, convection and reaction. So this particular physics has all those options and that is why it is you can say one of the hard, one of the important topics of EDL or any other kind of electrokinetic simulation. Then other physics I will talk about uh, most important one is this electric field ACDC field and under ACDC this electrostatics physics is important. We can actually solve Poisson equation utilizing this electrostatics module and I will talk about it how this particular electrostatics module can be utilized to model your Poisson equation and in electrokinetics you know Poisson equation rather Poisson Nance Planck equation those are very important equations and we frequently come across this equation Poisson equation could be in the dy Huckel approximation limit or in PNP level. So if it is PNP that is Poisson Nance Planck equation then your electrostatics has to be coupled with the TDS. So when we will be talking about PNP modeling we will take these two physics electro electrostatics and your TDS. Now coming to another physics which is mathematics physics you know in un under mathematics you have multiple options like PDE interfaces in PDE interfaces you have coefficient form PDE you have general form PDE you have uh, wave form PDE or you also have one option which is classical PDE so if you go here you can see inbuilt Poisson equation is already there so in this particular series we'll talk about when to choose this Poisson equation under the mathematics module, when to choose electrostatics under ACDC module and when to choose TDS under mass transport section that is chemical species transport section. And sometimes when we deal with say uh, electro reaction, cyclic voltagram and all then we have to go ahead with this electrochemistry like we are trying to solve a complex phenomenon like uh, simulation of a lithium ion battery simulation of a fuel cell so in those cases this electrochemistry module is important uh, we sometimes deal with cases like electrolysis of water electrolysis in a in a critical kind of membrane uh, porous membrane so in that case we need to solve flow through porous media, we need to take care of, of the equations, reactions which are happening on the electrode surface and sometimes there are uh, kinetic drag, there is electro-osmotic drag during electroanalysis processes. 
so all those things are coming under the umbrella of this electrochemistry so we'll talk one by one about all those physics we have already created a playlist on cyclic voltammetry where we have talked about electroanalysis uh, which is here we will talk more about cyclic voltagram modeling we'll talk about eis that is elect um, electrical uh, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy and we will talk more about applications as i have mentioned lithium ion battery fuel cell electrolyzers and this particular series will be exciting we'll keep on adding problems which is of uh, physical importance and i hope this series is going to be helping you in your research thank you